Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video we're going to be looking at what a key role evaluation is in your everyday life. <laughs> please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums and help them have the motherhood of their dreams. I've been doing a lot of evaluating recently. Over the end of last year, really sort of digging deep with my personal life and with Supermum Society and deciding what I wanted to move forward into the next year. So things like kind of looking at habits, what habits do I want to keep going, what habits do I want to start, what habits do I want to get rid of. Um, it's also looking at were there better ways of managing my time, were there better ways of structuring my, my weeks and my months, all those kind of things. But the best way of doing this is by evaluating the past, what has and hasn't worked, where were my strengths, where were my weaknesses. If possible, can you outsource your weaknesses or are there lessons or courses or thing you can read that will help improve that area too. None of this is really possible unless you evaluate. A big thing that came out of my evaluation is that I am completely changing how I'm going to be doing the videos with Supermum Society. People were loving the talks with the experts but they were going, oh the one thing I needed to know didn't get answered, um, now I feel a bit awkward answering it later. So we are going to be moving the expert talks into a monthly webinar. So once a month, or whatever the monthly theme is, there will be a guest expert coming in so you can ask your questions live in that webinar. So we've got one coming up um, at the end of February, not quite the end, so that's going to be, usually be, the second to last Tuesday of the month at eight o'clock, so eight or nine o'clock, just an hour, and that's um, Greenwich Mean Time, which I live in London, so London time, um, eight or nine o'clock. Um, I will record that, and so the recording will be available at a later date, but I would really encourage you to come and join in on the call, because like I said, it gives you the chance to ask the questions and really commit to getting involved with a video. Make that your monthly self-care ritual that you're gonna sit down and really delve into the information given by these amazing experts. There's something magical in watching things live as opposed to watching pre-recorded. I love pre-recorded, obviously, I have a YouTube channel, but, Recording live is, for me, so much better. So what's gonna to happen to the actual videos is they're gonna be much shorter, much more to the point. There's like little voice in your ear of motivation, inspiration and support. I wanted to make these videos much shorter. Some of the other feedback that I got in the evaluating I did was that some of my videos can get a bit long, then you, you watch a bit and you mean to come back to it and by the time you come back to it the next video is out and that actually it'd be better to have these like shorter videos so i'm aiming for around the five minute mark but i will allow it to go up to 10 minutes if i kind of need it to if i feel like there's something really important to say that's worth saying and letting the video go a little bit longer I've also used evaluating for things like the Facebook group to make sure that the content that's going out on there is more relevant and more helpful and more engaging for you guys. Same with like the Instagram, I look at what gets the most likes, not because I want lots of likes, of course we want lots of likes, that's always nice, but because by liking it I know that you've liked it. <laughs> and that I should be creating more of that. By going back and evaluating those areas, it helps me to move Supermum forward in a way that benefits you guys the most, which of course is what I want. I have a weekly evaluation practice, which I have put into a nice little PDF that I will link down below. But this um, includes me evaluating my past week and planning my week ahead. And it is such an absolute game changer when it comes to having amazing productive weeks, but also being able to look back over what I've achieved and have this like sense of achievement, which can often be lacking in motherhood. We can kind of just feel like we're not really getting anywhere. But looking back over my weekly reviews, I know I've achieved stuff. I know I'm doing well and I'm happy with my life. But I can also use it to look back and see, is there an area that I'm struggling with that consistently comes up? One that kept coming up with me is not having a complete and utter grip on my finances. Um, that was one area of my life I was probably winging it a little bit too much. And because it popped up in my weekly review a few times, I sat back and really did some big analysis of my finances now, where I want them to go, where have they been, what different savings accounts did I need, um, was there a better bank to be registered with, all those kind of things, because it kept popping up in my weekly review as part of my evaluating my previous week. 
I also do a monthly evaluation as of this year. I've decided that that is the weekly things are great, but I wanted to sort of have a culmination monthly thing. So at the end of the year, it's much easier to go back over 12 like documents as opposed to go back over the 52. The 52 I kind of the month the weekly ones I kind of look at in little blocks whereas my monthly one is like end of next year this year 2019 end of 2019 I can open up my monthly review book and go back through my thing and that also includes lists like it's got my bucket list it's got my long-term goals my short-term goals my goals that haven't got a deadline or place yet because I know at some point they need to have a time frame to them but at the moment they haven't necessarily got that it's also got in there the lists of the daily weekly monthly habits I wanted to include in my life this year so that at the end of the year I can look and go what did and didn't work from all of those things what goals have I achieved what things haven't I achieved what goals aren't relevant anymore it is completely fine if something is on your goals list and you suddenly decide it doesn't resonate with you to take it off you have not failed you have just realized that you are in a different place in your life and that's not part of who you are moving forward anymore which is cool i hope you have found this helpful and that moving forward you're going to really like the new content that is coming out i'm very excited about it um as you can probably tell we have lots of other changes coming with super mama over the next few months there's lots of exciting things like physical things coming your way and digital things coming your way and metaphorical things coming your way it's so exciting i'm excited about all the things please stay tuned please keep giving me your feedback because that's like the best way for me to evaluate is feedback emails from you guys dms private messages comments all those kind of things really help me to move super mum forward in a way that can benefit you i look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood and remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.